typically expresses as a sensation of pleasure or blissfulness. Because when the yin and yang are balanced and they're purified, they are able to blend with one another. If they're full of impurity, if there's too much of one and not enough of the other, they can't blend well. It turns into an energy block. But if these energies are purified, if they're energized and then they're brought together, it usually translates as a sensation of pleasure. So with the energy centers or dantians of the lower body, it usually translates as physical pleasure that is subtle. When you energize the higher ones, upper abdomen, now it's turning into a type of etheric pleasure. So you're feeling it in the electromagnetic field of the body. Now it's like you're vibrating. When you start to work with the energy centers more proximal to the heart, now you are feeling it in the soul level. Now it's as if the energies that make up your mind itself are vibrating with this pleasure. And finally, when you start to work with the upper centers, it turns into a spirit bliss. And this is when the reality itself becomes heaven-like. You see? So the bliss expands. It goes from subtle to obvious. And the bliss is a side effect of one's perspective. Because as you're activating these centers, you're gradually aligning your point of view so it is more synchronized with the view of the divine. And the divine see things in a blissful way. So you take on that likeness because of the perspective change. Person that's too yin will sleep all the time. They'll be slow to take action. They won't feel like doing the things they love. Person that's too young, too impulsive. They're always thinking, always moving. They can never settle down and actually accomplish something. Maybe they only get micro accomplishments, but they can't accomplish anything substantial because they can't focus themselves. Person too quick to anger. Person too quick to judge. Too much young. A person too slow to make a choice. Too apathetic to care. Too much yin. A person that is perhaps dealing with a psychological imbalance. Maybe they are addicted to food. This is a blending of yin and yang imbalance. Yes, because they're stoking their digestive fire. And they are like a fire. Yes, they are just consuming and burning. So it is very yang. But it is also a yin action in that they are taking in. Yes? So sometimes these patterns of dysfunction will blend. That also happens.